Hey, you guys. Okay, so now we're going to do the post lab questions. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, saw the videos and were able to answer the questions because all the, you know, most of the answers are in the videos. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at the post lab questions here. Which graph shown above represents a direct relationship in gay Lussac? So on this one, uh, remember that uh, gay Lussac has a direct relationship, right? So that means uh, if pressure goes up, that means temperature goes up, okay? So the only one that represents uh, pressure and temperature, now keep in mind that temperature was the one that you changed. Remember, you were adding heat to the little bucket. You were changing it. So that's your independent variable. So your independent variable, uh, that means uh, your independent variable should be in the x-axis, in the x-axis, uh, and that's for temperature, okay, x-axis. So that means we're, we need it in, uh, which is a lot of them. A lot of them are in the x-axis, but none of them, uh, but there's, um, but, uh, however, they need to also have pressure in the y-axis because why uh, is the pressure in the y-axis because it's the dependent variable why because the pressure changes according to how you change the temperature okay so it will change it will fluctuate according to how you add heat or or take or get or cool it down okay so that has to be in the y so um so it's a direct relationship so if it uh, if temperature goes up, so that means pressure should be going up. This one, it's, 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 you know, this should be a straight line for a direct relationship, okay? So this, your answer for number one should be uh, B, okay? Should be B. So that should be B right here, okay? Your answer should be this one. Okay, so now let's go to the next one. Okay, an experiment is performed on a gas under constant volume to study its behavior. Okay, so um, the pressure temperature data for a fixed amount of gas is recorded. The data is as follows. Okay, and as you guys can see, just in case you're not really sure if you did this one correct, you could always go in the bottom and it actually gives you the answer because of the graph. Okay, pressure, temperature, and then the graph. Okay, so anyways, let's go back to this. Okay, and so this is an experiment. Okay, so we already know um, as we increase the temperature, the pressure should increase. And if you look at the data, you're increasing the temperature, right? Um, you know, and then uh, the pressure is increasing as well, okay? Um, and if you decrease it, it will decrease as well, okay? That's a direct relationship. Okay, so now the temperature starts at 173 Kelvin, 173 Kelvin. So if it starts at one Okay, uh, that means um, as a temperature, uh, that means as the temperature increases, uh, you see the volume, oh, I should say the pressure, the pressure increases. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna have to change that to pressure. So your your assignment, I have not put it in there yet. So that should be changed to pressure. That will be changed to pressure. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. Hmm. Okay, so when this one increases, this one increases, that means it's a direct relationship. True or false, does the data of the gas behavior obey Gay-Lussac's law? Yeah, it does, because it increases, it increases. If it decreases, it decreases. So that is true. Okay, 
So now, an experiment is performed on a gas under constant volume to study its behavior. The pressure, temperature data was graphed for a fixed amount of gas and is recorded. The graphical data is as follows. So now we're going to look at, we're going to be looking at graphs, okay? So, um, so let me see here. If the temperature of gas molecules is 100 kelvins, then that means what is the pressure? So let me see if I could do this. This is the first time I try this. So let me see. Bear with me here. So it's 100 temperature, right? So it would be right here. And it would be, uh, what would be the, so it should be around, well, it didn't do it very accurate, actually. So I'm going to have to clear it, and I'm going to have to go a little bit um, exactly here. So, so exactly, exactly. It's about right, right? Because again, uh, if we are looking at um, if we are looking at a hundred, right? If we are looking at a hundred, that and then uh, we have to go towards the line, of course. So you're looking at 20, uh, 20. It's over twenty for sure. But it could be twenty one, twenty two, somewhere around there. Okay, so this. The best answer, and now here we're talking about pressure. They're not asking about temperature. The temperature is 100 kelvins. So if they're asking about pressure, then that means uh, it has to be kilopascals. Okay, not kelvin, kilopascals. So if it's kilopascals, that means it, sh it, can't, be, it can't be 15 because it's more than 20. Uh, it, can't be, it can be 21, yeah. And it cannot be 20, 30 because it's way off, right? So we have to look at where this goes towards the pressure. So that is uh, the best answer, of course, is 21 kilopascals. Okay. So um, okay. So let's. So let's clear that out. And now we're going to go, if the temperature, and let's go to number five, if the temperature of the gas molecules is 200 kelvins, what is uh, the pressure? So now we're looking at 200 kelvins. So this is 200 kelvins right there, okay? So now we're going to, I'm going to use again my little rectangle here, and, uh, and we're going to go right here. Hopefully it's as good as it can get. And then, of course, we're going to go up to where we get to the, Number, oops, so it's a little bit higher than 40, so uh, let's go look at it here, um, okay, so now uh, what is the option, so again, what is pressure, so it has to be kilopascals. So we're going to go ahead and stick to kilopascals. There's three options. It cannot be 37 yet. It's more than 40. So, and it cannot be 50 because it's way less than 50 right here. So it has to be 42 kilopascals. Okay. So now let's clear that. Okay. So now we're looking at pressure. Okay, we're looking first at pressure. If the pressure of the gas molecules is 70, okay, if it's 70. So that means if it's 70 right here. So uh, we're looking at 70. Uh, let me see if I could make that little. There you go. It's a little circle there. So 70, what is the temperature? So I'm going to go all the way till... I hit the, the, the line, okay? And that should um, that should give me a number. Okay, so it's around there, okay? So um, now we're going to go ahead and look at this real quick. 
So it goes, if we start at 70, and then we go all the way to the line, and then we go all the way to temperature, and this is where, you know, it, it is like, it is less than half. So you know between 300 and 400, half of it, eh, it's around here maybe, or maybe more, I don't know, somewhere around there. So we know it's less than 350. For sure it's less than 350 because ha between 300 and 400, half of that would be, you know, that's 100 gaps, so that's 50, right? So it would be 350. So now um, we're going to go ahead and look at our options. Now they're asking for temperature, so we're looking at Kelvin, so just the K. So um, it could be 337, but we got to look at the other options. It cannot be 350 because we, you know, if you look at it, it is a lot less than half, okay? There is a huge gap between half, okay? So it's not 350, and of course, it's not 390. So it has to be 337 Kelvin. Okay, so now let's look at the last one. If the pressure of the gas molecules is 80 kilopascals, what is the temperature? So now let me go ahead and clear this one, okay? And I'm going to do another box. So it's at 80 kilopascals. So we're going to go ahead and go to 80 kilopascals right here. So 80 until we hit the line. There you go. They hit the line. There's you go. And then uh, there it is. So... Um, let me go ahead and look at a pen. So we're going from 80 pillow kilopascals to uh, the line. And then, of course, we're going to go find out what's the temperature of that, right? So we know it's less than 400 for sure, okay? And let me uh, look at our, our options, okay? It's really close to 400, though. So we know it's temperature, so it has to be Kelvin. So, but we know it's not 400 though. Uh, is it 350? Uh, it cannot be half. There's no way. This is half. Okay, 350, 300. There's 100 gap. So it, it, half a hundred is 50. So half of that, it can't be that. Okay, it's more than that. So, obviously, our number is going to be 385, but Kelvin, Kelvin, you guys, okay? Um, and that's it, you guys. Pretty much that's it, you guys. Um, hopefully, you learned something from this, okay? So, uh, if anything, you could always call me or ask me a question, okay? Well, actually, ask me a question through email or go to Zoom, okay? Bye, you guys. Have a good one.